some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. And let me just prove that to you right now. Let me tell you who I have loved and supported consistently for the last 25 years, since long before I was a pastor, for 25 years straight, who have I loved and consistently supported? Brother Hiles. Brother Hiles! You know, Brother Jack Hiles, who I believe is the greatest, 20, the greatest preacher of the 20th century? Amen. You know what? Brother Hiles is the greatest preacher of the 20th century, who literally popularized the term soul winning, popularized the term uh, Romans Road, okay, was greatly used by God. And let me say this, in 2024, all over America, in cities all across America, to this day, usually the best church in a city tends to be a Hiles Anderson graduate, even to this day. And you know what? Besides the church that you're sitting in, I think that the best church in this area is pastored by a Hiles Anderson graduate too. And so, you know, there you go, my friend. A man walked down this aisle a few weeks ago. He looked at me and he said, Preacher, God won't forgive me. I said, Come now, let us reason together, saith the Lord. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they be red like crimson, they shall be as wool. He said, Preacher, you don't understand. These hands took a man's neck and choked him to death. I saw him die. I killed a man. And I said, Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they be red like crimson, they shall be as wool. He said, you don't understand. You don't understand. He said, these hands have, put, have, have, have reached around the neck of a little innocent girl, 13 years of age. And I forced her to lie down, and I raped that little 13-year-old girl. He said, these hands choked that little girl almost to death. God wouldn't forgive me. Come now, let us reason together, I said, saith the Lord. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they be red like crimson, they shall be as wool. If any man say, I have sinned, not if any good man, not if any, any, any non-murderer, not if any non-drunkard, if any man say, I have sinned, it doesn't matter what you've done. If you say, I have sinned and mean it, God will forgive. If any man, if any man who is in deep sin, if any man who's killed someone, if any man who's been a wicked drunkard, if any man who's been a guilty of treason, if any man who's been a communist, if any man who's been a pervert, if any man who's been a homosexual, if any man will say, I've sinned, tonight you're just as near to God as an admission of your sins. I will deliver him from the pit, says God, if he says, I have sinned. He knows he's a liar, he knows he's a false teacher, and he just gets up and lies brazenly through his teeth in a sermon telling us, bring in the sodomites. Forgive all, uh, pedophiles, bring in the child rapists. Br let them be restored. That's the garbage he was preaching in this sermon. And I mean, this is the kind of stuff that people will do to do what? To teach lies.